Snoopy Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by painting all of your nails light blue. On your thumb, we're going to begin by painting Snoopy's red dog house, and I'm going to want it to like set on the tip of my nail. And so I'm going to start by painting a trapezoid near about the middle, and then I'm going to square that off and just fill that in. And your red may need a second coat, and then add just like a square beneath it for the bottom of his doghouse. So the top is the roof, and then they got the bottom beneath. So now I'm going to be painting Snoopy lying on top of his doghouse. So I'm going to be using white, and I'm just going to start by painting his big round belly, and then add his feet coming out of one side of his belly, and his belly is just a half circle. And then on the other side, we've got his neck, and then his his head and his snout. And his head is kind of a peanut shape, which is a little bit funny if you ask me, because peanuts. Anyways, and then add his hand <laughs> or his front paw. Yeah, that works. So I'm going to be outlining Snoopy with a thin black line, and I'm going to start just by outlining just like the perimeter of everything, and then I can go through and add some more details. So just do the basic outlines before you get too crazy. So now I'm going to go through and I'm just going to define where his arm is because you couldn't really see it before because it was all white. And I'm also going to put like little lines in his paws um, just to show where his toes are. Then give him a smile and an eye, a nose, and an ear. So that pretty much finishes off Snoopy. So we have to add the details to his doghouse. So I'm going to start by outlining it once again. And I'm going to outline across the bottom where that trapezoid ends. And then outline the bottom or the middle of the stock house. Then add lines going across the whole thing to show where like the shingles are. So now on our pointer nail, we're going to be painting Charlie Brown. So I'm going to start with a nice round nude circle. R yeah, a round circle. It's not exactly a circle because his head isn't perfectly circular. Um, you can kind of make it any shape you want. Just keep it in the round family. And then add an ear on each side. And make sure that, that is nice and opaque. So now I'm going to be outlining his head with a thin black line. And so when you're doing this outlining, um, you can fix if there's any little mishaps that you have. And so if your circle or circle-like shape isn't exactly how you want it, you can kind of adjust it with your outline. So then also you're going to need to add his smile. And you're going to need to add his nose and then little like um, seed shapes for eyes and then add his curly hair and his eyebrows on your middle nail we're going to start with white paint and we're going to be painting snoopy's head but just the front of his head and then his neck and his arms and just a little bit of his body the reason we're not painting the back of his head is because he's going to be wearing an aviator's hat and so he doesn't really need to have the back of his head white to start out with so you can just forget about that part so and then, as I mentioned, we're going to be filling in the back of his head with bright green for his hat. Alright, and then from there we're going to use dark brown and we're going to be painting his goggles. So start with like one circle and then another one on top of his head so that it looks like they're going up at an angle so it looks like they're on his head. So then around his neck, we're going to be giving him a red scarf and have the scarf, the tails of the scarf go out towards the back to make it look like he's in motion, like he's flying and then outline everything with a thin black line. And at this point, you're also going to be adding his nose. And add little circles inside each goggle to show where the lens is. On your pinky nail, we're going to be 
oh I'm sorry on your ring nail we're going to be painting woodstock so I'm going to start with just white and I'm going to be painting woodstock shape now the reason I'm starting with white instead of yellow is because the yellow isn't going to be a, it doesn't have as good um, opacity and so as you put it on it's going to look really streaky but if you put white underneath it it's going to look really nice and bright and solid after that first coat of yellow and it's going to look so much better so then cover up everything you just painted with yellow And then outline everything. You guessed it was a thin black line. It's my favorite, my favorite saying, I tell you. So in your pinky, we're going to be painting Snoopy's head and shoulders. And this is just a regular Snoopy like you would normally see him. So I'm just going to start with that peanut shape, as I mentioned. And I'm also going to add his ear. I know his ear is black, but if you look at it, sometimes it looks like it's got a little white outline. So then I'm going to be outlining everything with a thin black line. And I'm going to be adding his nose, eyes, ears, and a smile. So then as I mentioned, just fill in that ear, leaving a thin white line if you can. And then there's his nose, a collar, I forgot to mention that, he needs a collar. Smile, and two eyes. And his eyes have those little tails like um, Woodstock should too. So then add a layer of top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!